Hello, hello, welcome to another edition of Socast We Like It, the Man Out of Direction. This is the Monday after the Sunday travesty and the Sunday choking by Tottenham Hotspurs and Jose Mourinho. Well, United got hammered by six goals to one, but it is neither here nor there. Now, today is the last day of the transfer window. We have literally about seven hours left for this transfer window. It's officially, we, I think we all know, deep down, if you're a United fan, we know that the Sancho deal is not going to happen. United have turned their, uh, their, turned their interest into things like trying to get a loan deal for Umar Dembele and trying to get a young guy from Atalanta in Italy called uh, uh, Traore. He's 18 years old, but if United sign him, he will be coming in January. Uh, the, the, it is said, it's been uh, announced that uh, uh, Cavani and Teles are having the medicals. Um, Traore and Dembele are going to be United's replacements as right wingers. As we all know, Dembele is he's highly injury prone. The the Atalanta guy, he's Traore, he's young, he's 18, he's not tried, he's not tested. Are these players who will make an impact? So, you see, this is my thing. If Dembele was that good, why would Barcelona want to get rid of him? They are trying to, United are currently in talks to have a loan deal, agrees, a fees have been agreed for the, the player and the uh, the 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 uh, the agent, but Barcelona still trying to try and squeeze more money out of United as they always do. But United, as another team, another club, refused to pay that kind of money. As you know, Traore is not tested. We really don't know much about this eighteen-year-old who come in January due to work permit issues. But you see, this is the thing. So we're not getting a defender. We're getting Tellers as a left back cover for Luke Shaw. No centre uh, defenders being looked at. Umar. Kamp Kamp Umar. About Makano is not coming, we know that. Sancho is not coming, we know that. So instead of us being in pain and being frustrated, let's look at what happened yesterday in that massacre, that travesty, that termination, that extinguishing, that destruction by Tottenham Hospital. Look at the defense. The defense was all over the place. Every single defender, Wambasaka, Luke Shaw, Everybody, uh, Maguire, Maguire being captain was absolutely shit yesterday. And I mean shit. It was diabolical, but it is what it is. People are saying, no, it was a bad end of it. That was not a bad end of it. That was an absolute disgrace and an absolute spanking on the bottom. Our pants were pulled down and spanked with a big whip. That's embarrassing, but it is what it is. But going forward, United, uh, as we know, Sancho's not coming. Um, we're going to try and get Oman Dembele, Traore. I, I don't really know about this Traore guy. Uh, uh, they wanted to get uh, uh, this guy, a guy from um, Watford, Isilas, I think his name, I'm not, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, from Wolves, I mean Watford, but Watford won £40 million. Pounds. <laughs> Everybody just wants money, everyone wants money. Oh God, they don't realise this is a, a, a club that doesn't like to spend money. So yeah. That's where we're going with this transfer today. I'm going to give you guys three parts. We're going to do the first part now. I'm going to update you guys. So keep following our channel. So, guys, we like it in my native direction. Share our content. Please subscribe. We're the fastest growing channel in the United States. So, please grow out. Please support us as much as you can. Share our content and drop a comments. What you think of this, the signings or United's approach to Dembele and Traore and losing Sancho and trying to, and trying to make sure United just patch things up. All right. From me to Russell, I'll see you soon. In the next couple, our video will be coming very soon for part two. All right, I'll see you. Got any breaking news? We'll let you guys know. See you guys very soon.